I'm Dr. Alok Sharma. I'm basically a neurosurgeon. Uh, that's a brain and spine surgeon. And um, I specialize in something called stem cell therapy. Now, we all have heard of stem cell therapy, but what exactly is stem cell therapy? So, stem cell therapy is sort of like the new kid on the block of in the, in the medical treatment world. Uh, up to now, the only treatments we had, either we had medicines, like we have tablets or injections, or we had surgery. We went and cut and sutured and removed. But now we have a new treatment. It's neither a drug nor is it surgery. It's, it's a form of treatment where we use healthy cells to repair damaged cells. Uh, so this is what stem cell therapy is about. It is a cellular therapy. It's a biological therapy. Um, uh, how we do it is like we take a needle, uh, we put it into the bone just above the hip bone into the pelvis and take out the liquid in the bone which is called bone marrow. We all have heard this word bone marrow. What exactly is bone marrow? Bone marrow is the liquid which is inside the bone. This is the place where our body's blood is produced. And in this bone marrow, there is there are these cells called stem cells and there are literally millions of them. So when we get bone marrow out, uh, along with the bone marrow, we get uh, several million stem cells. We take this bone marrow to our laboratory and in the laboratory, we sort of filter it or purify it and isolate the stem cells and throw away the rest. And once we have these stem cells, we now inject them uh, into the lower back. Why in the lower back? Uh, because in the, the lower back, there is a fluid called cerebrospinal fluid. And when we inject into this fluid, the, the cerebrospinal fluid takes uh, these stem cells all the way up into the brain and all over the spine and nerves. So where can we use stem cell therapy? Now, there are several conditions uh, for which there were no medical treatments available. Uh, now, in children, these included autism, uh, which is a childhood neurodevelopmental disorder in which uh, the children have behavioral issues. They can't speak. Uh, they aren't able to uh, you know, interact socially. They can't go to normal schools because they can't read and write. They are very hyperactive and sometimes get aggressive. Uh, these are the symptoms of autism. Autism is getting, you know, you know it's increasing uh, uh, in its incidence year by year. Uh, there was a time, uh, say 10 years ago, when it, you know, 1 in 160 children had this. But now today, 1 in 60 children have autism. So it's a, a three times increase in 10 years. Uh, there are several other conditions uh, like cerebral palsy, where their brain is damaged at the time of birth. And the children have stiffness and tightness of the legs. Uh, or intellectual disability, that earlier was referred to as mental retardation. Now we call it intellectual disability, where their minds are slower. And, um, you know, their, uh, their, uh, their IQ and their attention, concentration, memory is affected. Uh, it also helps in a disease called muscular dystrophy, where the muscles start gradually uh, shrinking. And uh, in a particular type called Duchenne muscular dystrophy, actually all the boys, they die by the time they are 25. So all these conditions, autism, cerebral palsy, intellectual disability, muscular dystrophy, there are no treatments available. There are no medicines, there are no drugs that can cure this nor is there any surgery. But with stem cell therapy, we are able to actually uh, repair the damage in these kids' brains and uh, give them a new hope of life. So today I'm going to focus uh, my this little address to you on autism. Now, like I explained to you, uh, you know, in autistic kids, they look normal. You look at them and they seem normal. But because they can't talk, because they can't communicate, because their their higher functions are slower, uh, they aren't able to integrate into normal society. They get aggressive, they sometimes injure themselves, they hurt hurt others. And uh, autism is not something which affects only the child. The whole family gets affected. Because when you have a special needs child, uh, it affects everyone in the family. Up to now, the only treatments for this was rehabilitation, like occupational therapy, speech therapy, psychological therapy, etc. Uh, there were some drugs which, were, which helped to reduce the hyperactivity and give symptomatic relief. But nothing more was available. But now with stem cell therapy, we can actually almost completely nearly get these kids to lead normal independent lives. Uh, we've done some, a lot of research on this and uh, we use these special scans called PET scans. And in these PET scans, uh, we see these areas that are demarcated as blue uh, as the areas which are hypometabolic or low functioning or weaker. And uh, we have found that this, these areas, this these areas of the brain, which are functioning less, are the cause of all the symptoms of autism. Now, with stem cell therapy, we've seen that after we give stem cell therapy, within six months, almost all this blue starts clearing up. 
and uh, uh, which basically means that the brain which is functioning less has now started uh, healing has started repairing and uh, this is we are able with this we are able to give these children a brain that is as close to normal functioning as is possible the beauty of stem cell therapy treatment is three first it's a very simple treatment like i described to you earlier we put a needle into the bone marrow take out the bone marrow and with one needle inject it into the spinal fluid so the whole treatment involves only two injections where with one we take out with one we put we are taking the child's own cells from one area where there are extra and putting it back into an area where there are uh, where it is less uh, it's a very very safe treatment and uh, we have done treated now more than 1400 children with autism actually we treated more than 7500 patients overall of all the diseases but autism itself is 1400 and we have found uh, that there are no major irreversible side effects deterioration because of the stem cells per se so uh, it's a very very safe treatment so i can assure you safety of this treatment which means nothing will go wrong uh, with with the child the child is not going to get worse in any way and the treatments are definitive but the thing is that we have to do this treatment early what we have found is when we do this before 12 years we can have kids who become almost completely near normal the word we use is neurotypical uh, those who are between 12 and 20 well they improve but uh, we will not be able to get them to be you know neurotypical or near normal some symptoms remain but they improve quite a bit and the older the children get the less are the improvements so the message is early intervention okay uh, as soon as the child is diagnosed or we, we see the symptoms and after trying all the rehabilitation if there is no significant improvement stem cell therapy is definitely an option worth thinking of uh many of us know uh, you know we have family friends relatives neighbors who who have a child with with special needs uh, like autism or cerebral palsy or intellectual disability and uh, this is a message that needs to go out to them because they've been told all these years that nothing can be done for the children but what i want you to know is we can today definitely help these children and give them an opportunity an option uh, to be able to lead independent close to near normal life a very important part of the work done at the neurogen brain and spine institute is that all our work is published in scientific journals we have a total of 86 scientific papers 14 of these papers are on the role of stem cell therapy in autism itself we also have written chapters in international textbooks and we have published 14 books of our own so the work done at the neurogen brain and spine institute has a very solid scientific foundation to it and all our results are in the public domain thank you for your attention uh, this is dr alok sharma uh, from the neurogen brain and spine institute uh, which is located uh, in navi mumbai